Hello, my name is Chris Fonseca, and I am the city councillor here in Ward 3 in our great city of Mississauga. And my name is Monica Nito, and welcome to Councillor Fonseca's Community Corner. And today we are very excited to bring Community Corner to Glen Forest High School and to talk to students and teachers about art and the written word. Art enables us to find ourselves. It also allows us to express ourselves. I mean, come on. The world without art is just fan. Here today we have a few students who will present art, who participated in field art and essay contest. And don't forget their wonderful teachers, Mrs. Andre and Mrs. Galvayo. And thank you all for being here, and congratulations ahead of time. We, we do have some certificates that we want to present to you uh, for your achievements at the Peel Essay and Art Awards. Uh, but first, we do have some questions for you, and I'm going to be starting off with some questions to the teachers. And in Mississauga, we have a thriving uh, culture uh, plan, a master plan. Um, and I want to start with, uh, and obviously here at this school, uh, you do quite a bit, uh, your focus and your commitment to the arts, uh, to the written word, uh, to instilling and inspiring art in the students is thriving. I've been to many different events here at Glen Forest and I know that uh, um, you take art very seriously. So my first question will be to Ms. Galvao. Um, you're an art teacher here and I do want to ask you, um, how does art inspire you and what does it provide to you as a teacher? Uh, art inspires me to express myself and get my students to express themselves um, in a visual way throughout, without having to rely on language and rely instead on images and colors to uh, talk about things that they might not be able to express uh, through writing. It allows them to uh, explore cultures, um, motifs that are part of their culture, uh, explore topics that are happening in society and um, talk about those in a way that will engage the public around them and through either something that is beautiful or something that is striking or, or something that is shocking. It's such a great way to express yourself uh, about your heritage, your roots, uh, your community. Yeah, especially so to important. new arrivals. Yeah. Often um, it's the art class that allows them to feel like they really fit in and the differences of them getting used to language aren't really present there because mm -hmm. they can uh, make art along with everyone else and and share their ideas. So often their ideas of art uh, and what they're exposed to is different because they're coming from a different culture. From their different experiences. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, and for you, Ms. Andre, um, you are uh, the, uh, cre is it the creative writing teacher here. I'm actually person. a French teacher, but I'd like to consider myself. Languages teacher. Yes, language I'd like, to, I'd like the way you put that. Uh, French and Spanish. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So uh, through uh, the expression of writing, what does that mean to you? Uh, writing is an, uh, you know, it's expression. Expression means influence. It can mean an escape. It can mean a journey. It's really anything you make of it. And I think helping our students realize it's a powerful tool in today's society to create change and to do so creatively is essential. I think it's what unites us, it's what creates our reality, and it's what's enlightening to us as human beings. Mm -hmm. So how do you, in terms of through, through the written word, how do you really encourage the students here at the school to express themselves that way? And how would it be different through uh, the languages? I think, you know, on the uh, country of Madame Bové, we use words. Um, it's, it's the visual visualization that words bring about, and I think they need to understand, and they, I try to get them to understand that their experience is valid, their ideas and opinions are very valid and worthy of being shared with the entire world, and it's through writing, which is reflection and analysis of their past, that helps them to understand who they are in the present and who they're going to become in the future. And definitely through the encouragement of both of you, uh, a number of students here have had the opportunity to participate in the Peel Essay uh, and Art Contest. And Monica, I think you have some questions for, uh, for the students here today. All right, so um, this question goes to Kevin. And it's, how did you get involved with your Art and Essay Contest? Uh, so basically, one day, Ms. Hockey came across to us and told us about how there was 
she found this contest online. And then she thought it would be a great uh, opportunity for us, and so she suggested that we try and enter the program. That's good. Thank you, Mr. And this question goes to Ms. Doyan. Um, every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once you grow up. How did you manage to still have interest in art seeing that you're now in high school? So during my childhood, I, art was something that I really enjoyed. And I like making things. And that's uh, something that has never left me. And when I came to high school, um, I realized that through art, I can express myself and I want to explore the field of art further. And um, this, one more question for you, Sarah. They also say painting is self-discovery. Every good artist paints what he is. Being an artist, do you believe it defines who you are through your artwork? Yes, I believe, because throughout through art, you can express, as I said, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, and your ideas. And you can communicate also with other people. So yes, art is the way to express yourself. Exactly. And um, Christopher, the theme of this year's contest is Who's My Neighbor? What was your essay's translation to the audience? Well, um, I wanted to shine a light on my opinion that maybe society wasn't, maybe the society was neglecting neighbors a bit and they weren't giving them the attention, the attention they deserve. I really want to express that through my essay. That's good. And um, this question is for Dermal. And who inspired you to be a Well, it started in elementary school when our, my teachers would, would give us an opportunity to write stories every each grade. And because of this, I was able to express my emotions and my uh, feelings through writing because I would be awarded for them and people would be happy to read my stories. And also, Miss Andre is an inspiration for me too because she also made me realize that through my essay and my writing, I can not only express my feelings and emotions, but also my thoughts to my community. Exactly. And um, this question is for Amar. Who is, who is your role model or mentor? Um, for the essay? For writing in general. For writing in general. Uh, well, for this essay in particular, I, was, uh, I would believe that Miss Andre would be my mentor because she guided me throughout the essay from when we were just formulating ideas to when I had my rough drafts, she would look them over and tell me what I needed to improve on. So, uh, yeah, I would consider it to be my mentor. Okay. And um, this question is for Nadine. An artist can be des described in so many different ways. Do you believe a musician or a poet, poet is an artist? And it's so why? Yes, I do believe that they are artists because I believe an artist is something that create something from nothing, and that is exactly what they do, whether it's musically or written. They provide a different perspective on life through which um, other forms can. Yeah, but and also um, because artists, like when people, when you say an artist, people think it's just drawing, they yeah. go through like painting, so that's why I asked the question. And I like your answer. Thank you. Um, this question is for Mara. Do you picture yourself being a writer in the future? Honestly, no. I, I've always <laughs> I've always loved words, but to me, the words I prefer are spoken words and speaking to people and making speeches and stuff like that. Um, that was Andre. She taught me in French last year, and it was so much fun because we were always speaking and doing presentations and stuff. And that's really where I feel happiest is when I can speak and talk to people and make a difference that way. So I do love words. I also love to read. Writing is just not the form of words for me. Okay, that's good. And speaking of spoken words, I also do poetry and spoken words, so I can relate to that. And um, Linda, when did you first discover that you were into writing? Um, I first discovered that I was into writing uh, on grade six because that's when I could really express myself and that's when I really started to like writing as a hobby rather than something school related. And also, I feel that Mrs. Um, Galileo is an inspiration too because for her to her being an art teacher and Stoyan who was came in third place for the art, you should also like just like they were saying that Mrs. Andrea was the inspiration. I also believe that she could be an inspiration, which she is to Stoyan, as you were saying earlier. So yeah. And this is Chris Fonseca. Well, thank you, thank you, Monica, and thanks to all of you. Uh, as you can see. Um, art, culture.
culture in many different forms uh, plays a huge role in our community and also uh, through uh, in our education system. And I want to thank all of you, uh, to the teachers, for being such an inspiration, um, inspiring the students uh, and encouraging them and challenging them to express themselves in so many different ways, in, in different uh, forms of art, whether it be spoken word, written word, um, visual art. Um, and I also encourage all of you to uh, seek out uh, what different opportunities through culture and arts we have in Mississauga, because there are many of them. And you are leaders in that. And as I was saying at the start of the community corner, uh, our culture and our art is all because of what you make it. Uh, it's intermixed into our history and heritage and into our community. So I would like to present all of you with a certificate uh, to the students and the teachers. Uh, they, the, the students and the teachers were presented awards at the Peel Art and Essay uh, Contest I guess it was about a month ago now, but as the ward counselor here in Ward 3, and on behalf of the city of Mississauga, I'd like to present these to you. So I will just bring them to you. This one is to Stoyan Barakov, and this is for your place in the Art Award at the Peel Essay and Art Contest. So congratulations to you. And the next one is to Linda Lee. Uh, it gives me great pleasure, and it's an honor uh, for you to have received per first place in the Peel Art and Essay Contest. So congratulations. <laughs> and here, this is Tamara Curry, and this is for uh, achieving second place in the Peel Art and Essay Contest for 2014. So congratulations. <laughs> to Christopher de Guzman, and this is a certificate for achieving third place in the Peel Art and Essay Contest. <laughs> and to Nandini Bansal, this is a certificate for being one of the finalists in the Peel Art and Essay Contest. <laughs> and to Amar Arfi, um, this is also a certificate for being a finalist. Congratulations to you. And to Kevin Hay, uh, also a certificate for being one of the finalists in the Peel Art and Essay Contest. You're such a big group. It's wonderful. And also to Nirmal Cole for being a finalist in the Peel Art and Essay Contest. Congratulations. And to the teachers as well, I want to thank you again for being such an inspiration. Uh, to Miela Andre, this is a certificate for you. Thank you so much. Keep inspiring through French, through Spanish, and through the written word and any other way, spoken word. And to Maribel Almeida Galvão. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to all the students. And may you continue to inspire myself and all of us through, through the written word, through spoken word, and through any other art form you see fit. Thank you. Well, before thank we wrap you. this up, um, we would like to give a big thank you to Intercultural Dialogue Institute, who is a nonprofit organization which allows young people to come together and make a difference in our community and our city. And those who support and sponsor IDI, we also thank you. And once again, thank you all for being here. And it's been a pleasure speaking to all of you guys. Stay tuned for our next Community Corner.